Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue square, this uh, green uh, right triangle, this uh, yellow square, and this uh, blue triangle put together, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, yellow square is 100 centimeter square, whereas this uh, segment uh, bg8 uh, centimeter let me re-emphasize that this uh, blue is our square and likewise this yellow is a square as well and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region this uh, square area region and this uh, blue triangle region area as well please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan. And since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, blue shaded region combined. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, blue shaded region area equals to this uh, blue square A, B, C, D area. This uh, square area plus uh, the blue triangle uh, C, D, E area, this uh, triangle area. So therefore, now our task is going to be calculate uh, this uh, square A, B, C, D area. And likewise, we are going to calculate this blue triangle uh, C, D, E area as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow square E, F, G, C whose area has been given to us as 100 centimeter square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length of this square. So therefore, for this yellow square, our S square is going to be equal to 100. Let's take the square root on both sides to undo this square, square root on both sides. And here, square and square root is uh, gone. So therefore, our side length S is going to be positive 10. So therefore, all these uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, yellow square turns out to be 10 centimeter. And now let's focus on this uh, green uh, triangle uh, GBC, whose uh, side lengths are 8 and 10. And this side uh, is unknown. And now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets, uh, 3, 4, 5. And if I multiply these uh, triplets uh, by 2 across the board, then our new sets of uh, these Pythagorean triplets are going to be 3 times 2 is going to give us uh, 6, 4 times 2 is going to give us 8, and finally 5 times 2 is going to give us uh, 10. And since uh, we have already 8 and 10, so that means uh, this side length uh, BC is going to be 6 uh, centimeter. So therefore, our this uh, side length uh, of this uh, blue square turns out to be 6 centimeter. And by the way, we could have used this uh, Pythagorean theorem to figure out uh, this uh, side uh, BC as well. And now let's focus on this uh, blue square ABCD, whose uh, side length uh, is uh, 6. Since this is a square, so all side lengths are going to be equal. If this side length is 6, then this side length is going to be 6, uh, 6, and 6 uh, across the board. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue square ABCD. And now let's recall the area of a square formula once again. Area equal to S square, where S represents the side length of this blue square. So therefore, the area of this blue square ABCD is going to be 6 uh, square so therefore this is going to be equal to 36 so thus the area of this uh, blue square turns out to be 36 uh, centimeter square and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, another uh, blue triangle uh, CDE and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base uh, times height and now we can see the base of this uh, triangle uh, CDE is uh, 6. However, the height uh, of this uh, blue triangle uh, is unknown. So therefore, now our task is to calculate the height uh, of this uh, blue triangle. So therefore, we are going to think uh, outside the box. 
and we are going to draw some auxiliary lines as you can see in this uh, next step i have constructed uh, this uh, square bhtp that passes through these uh, points uh, g f e and uh, c and now let's assume alpha and beta are our two complementary angles in other words some of these two angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees so therefore let's focus on this uh, green triangle let's assume that this angle is uh, alpha this angle is 90 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta and now we know that this uh, angle is 90 degrees and this angle is beta so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle alpha and now in this uh, triangle this angle is alpha this angle is 90 degrees so therefore this angle uh, must be our angle beta and now once again this uh, angle is 90 degrees this angle is beta so therefore this angle has got to be our angle alpha and now in this uh, triangle uh, this angle is alpha this angle is 90 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta and once again uh, this angle is uh, 90 degrees this angle is beta so therefore this whole uh, angle has got to be our angle alpha and finally in this uh, triangle uh, epc this angle is alpha this angle is 90 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta so therefore we conclude that all these uh, four uh, triangles this triangle uh, gbc is congruent to this uh, triangle uh, ghf and this uh, congruent to a uh, triangle uh, fte and finally this is uh, congruent to this triangle uh, epc according to angle side angle congruency theorem since all of these uh, triangles have these uh, identical uh, side length uh, 10 so therefore in this uh, triangle uh, ghf this length uh, gh uh, is going to be 6 uh, and this uh, length is going to be 8 and likewise uh, for this uh, triangle uh, this length 30 f is going to be 6 and this uh, et length is going to be 8 and finally in this uh, triangle epc this uh, pe length is going to be 6 and this uh, pc length uh, is going to be 8 and now let's focus on this uh, height uh, pc this is the height of this uh, blue triangle uh, cde and the base of this uh, blue triangle is uh, 6 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, CDE and now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula area equals to half times base uh, times height so therefore the area of this uh, blue triangle CDE is going to be a half uh, times the base of this triangle uh, is uh, 6 uh, times the height of this uh, triangle is 8 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side is going to give us uh, 24 centimeter square and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, region we already figured out this uh, blue square area as uh, 36 uh, and this uh, blue triangle cd area as uh, 24 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so our uh, square area is uh, 36 uh, plus our triangle area is uh, 24 and if we add everything that is going to give us uh, 60 centimeter square so that's the combined uh, blue shaded region uh, area turns out to be 60 centimeter square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye